all right welcome back everybody to my town films today we are in gunma japan mount akina spoon and tiger type bar we're gonna do a little driving and some talking so today i'm going to be talking to you guys about basically what's going on with the channel and uh when i'm buying a car because i know so many of you are curious as to what's going on and why i don't have a car yet and you know all that stuff so let me just knock this all out right now in this quick five minute video so as you guys all know like i've said in the past in the past videos i don't have a car i'm in the middle of tokyo i'm looking for a car don't know what to buy you know japan right now and everywhere else in the world the jdm car market kind of is in a bit of a bubble so it's kind of hard to buy a car right now everything's just inflated in price and i'm not gonna be a sucker and buy you know a car for 20 30 grand like that's that's just silly uh oh there we go so yeah i'm i'm thinking about just pulling the trigger on one car i already have one car that i'm pretty dead set on getting and i don't think anybody is going to change my mind so i'm not going to ask like what do you think i should do anymore like it's it's kind of already done in my head <laughs> uh I've just been thinking every day at work, like, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And, you know, I realized that there is no, there is no substitution. Like, you just can't substitute just anything. So, like, if, if you want a car, like, you, you're, uh -oh. if you want a car, you, you're going to get it. You just might as well get it. Like, unless it's like a Lamborghini or something. So... After like really crunching the numbers and trying to make everything work, um, sometime next year I should be able to buy this car. Um, right now, like I said, I'm, I'm in the middle of the city, so I would need to leave the city in order for this to all work, actually. Because in the city, it's just too expensive to park, just simply park your car. I was going to buy a plot of land out in the middle of the countryside and basically just keep my car out there, but apparently you can't do that, which is stupid. It's like if you own a plot of land, it should be, you know, be able to be used for anything, right? But nope, that's not the case with Japan. If you guys do know the laws about like anything here or some loophole where, you know, you can own a car and keep it somewhere else, please, please let me know because I don't want to have to pay to one to two hundred dollars a month just for a parking space that i don't even own like that's just that's just ridiculous i think so basically the only way to own a car here and not pay for rent is to buy a house because here in japan you, your car has to be within two kilometers of your house uh or your office your business office or something like that in order for everything to I guess be in compliance with the law and obviously not everybody owns property so a lot of people end up paying rent for their cars to store them somewhere near their home and I think that's just one big gimmick oh well, that was a mischief and um, yeah I really don't I really didn't want to do that but it seems like I'm going to have to do it anyway so I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to just budget accordingly and uh, kind of get that knocked out but yeah, I don't have a car right now. I'm going to be going to a few dealerships tomorrow, actually, to look at some cars. Because who knows, you know, I might pull the trigger sooner than next year. I, I, I don't know. I can always have Destan come on out and buy the car and store it for me until I'm ready to move to the, to the uh, countryside. Well, not the country. I shouldn't say the countryside, but like the suburbs. And I have no problem doing that, you know. Um... But I, I kind of don't want to do that because he's all the way out in Nagoya and, and having the car go all the way out to Nagoya and then come all the way back. It just seems like a hassle and a waste of money. So I really don't want to do that. But yeah, like I said, I'm pretty dead set on what I'm going to get. You guys already kind of know what I'm going to get. It's pretty obvious, I think. But many people said I wouldn't do it. But guess what? It's going to happen. Just give me some time. All right, let me try to speed through this section because I hate going left and right, left and right, left and right. Oh, gonna crash. I would 
love to drive an Integra Type R on this mountain so badly. I feel like I need to now, now that I said it. All right, one of these days I'm gonna take an Integra Type R up here and just run, run this toge real quick, just for you guys, make a quick video. That'd be pretty fun. car feels so weird when you're turning it just like oversteers it's, it's a really strange sensation uh oh oh I crashed oh that's the end of the car but yeah I mean that's pretty much the video I mean there's not really too much else I need to say and I mean this is the end of the track too so yeah like that's the video like that's really all I had to say I'm buying a car soon, stay tuned, it's coming. You will see a video soon about a car and it will be the car that I buy. So just stay tuned for that video. It'll all be out soon. Um, just bear with me here, I'm working out the kinks of all this stuff. So that's gonna, that's gonna do it for this video. I know it was pretty boring, but at least you guys got to see something, right? So that's it. And I will see you guys in the next one.